Okay, so this is how I do my NeoPixel strip. So you can see here we've got just a little eight um, pixel Neo pixel strip and on the back of it you can see we've got some pads down here which are quite small which need to have the wires soldered onto them so we've got ground digital in our voltage and then we've got another ground so we're going to use three out of these so we'll use the ground the digital in and the um, VCC to attach our wires to so we've then got our wires uh, which you can see here and these are just jumper wires that have had the leads one, one end of the leads cut off and you can see in particular that what I've done is overtaken a little bit too much off the end of the wire here. So it's got about nearly a centimeter of wire stripped off and this will help us because when we solder the, um, we put the solder on the pads, we want the wire to actually draw off some of the solder and you'll see what I mean about that in a second. So there are wires, here's our NeoPixel strip. So next what we'll do is we're going to just put some globs of solder on the end here. Um, oops. So we heat up the pad, get a nice big glob of solder there. And we do that on all three pads that we're going to, to work to. And you can see here, I've actually put too much solder on. So you can see it's starting to ball quite heavily there. And so this allows me to sink the wire into the solder and the solder itself will then get drawn up the uh, the wire so you can see now as I just plop this on top I just heat the wire up and that will drop in through the pad through the ball of solder and it will then draw along the wire and that's ended up with a reasonable kind of joint so we can do the same thing with the other ones as well so just get that nice and secure, maybe go that way. And again, it just draws off. They're a little bit fiddly, so you have to kind of just watch what's going on. And then our final one. Just do the same thing. So we just heat up the ball of solder. The solder itself draws up through the wire. And there we go. So then what you can see is that we've got our three wires joined in there pretty well. And we just take our wire cutters, take the ends off, so that we don't get any dodgy joints and then we can test it to make sure it works. <clears throat> so I've just got a little testing kit here that I've built to make sure that this is all working properly. Mostly because I end up doing lots and lots of these. Hopefully, if everything has gone to plan, we should end up with some light. And there you go. That's how to solder up a NeoPixel strip in a couple of minutes.